yes. So, just finished watching the episode. Episode 4, The Walking Dead Season 1. And it was a doozy. Really surprised me there at the end how they chose to end the episode. I didn't expect it. It caught me. It caught me off guard because... I didn't expect, there was no indication of this happening, no creep-ups, no nothing, um, uh, um, and I guess that's what is good about this show, it's like, you never know, you just never know, that, I mean, they were rushing back to camp because they thought Merle was gonna go kill everybody, uh, what happened in the city was, 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 was pretty, interesting to say the least with the, um with Guillermo and the other guys um almost having the Mexican standoff there that was that was pretty awesome so but I I kind of felt like he was fronting about something like it wasn't like a real gang you know what I'm saying like <laughs> Daryl shot that one dude in the ass that was, <laughs> that was funny so it's so interesting to see how they were acting like they were a gang and they're not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a bunch of caretakers and Guillermo's custodian, which is quote unquote a janitor, right? So he was there. They look up to him. So that's pretty. That's pretty nice. So um, hopefully they survive. Rick left them some of the guns. So that was pretty. So that was pretty cool. Um, but back at camp, man, losing, um, the um, lady losing her daughter to, um, to the, to the walkers, walkers eating, oof, that was, and they showed the bites too, you know what I'm saying, like the tearing of the flesh and everything, oh my god, I wondered how, I wonder how they did that in studio, you know what I'm saying, like, that wasn't CG, that shit looked real as hell so it must have been probably like um anesthetics or um you know like you know what i'm talking about like they, they put like extra stuff on the skin and stuff like that so it seems real okay so it's it's um but the bites man the neck bites the hand bites everything about that was just and then the harrowing statement at the end with the guy was like, "No, I remember my dream. Why I was digging the holes? I guess, I guess this these dudes dreams come true. I guess it was a warning of some sort. I don't know. Um, but but all in all, this episode from start to end, the way how they started with the girl reminiscing about her dad with her mom and stuff, them catching the fish and stuff, and then it ended with her death. That was." It was brilliant writing, to say the least, because it caught me off guard because I didn't expect it because you have all these characters that you're just starting to get used to. And then they didn't kill an adult. They killed because I think she's still a teenager. Right. Um, so so that was, you know, the, the sad ending to it. Like it was very unexpected. So it was great writing, man. So giving them props for that. But definitely this episode was was one of the best so far that I've watched out of the four that I've watched. Definitely one of one of the best, if not the best that I've watched so far. So um, Merle still has the van. I think it's him. I mean, okay, it could be somebody else because now we found out that there's more people in the city. So it could have been anybody. Um Anybody could have stole the van. They just said it's Merle because Merle knows the van. Or maybe they're, maybe it's a parking spot that they usually park at when they go to the city. Who knows? So in any situation, it still still was a great episode. Um, still don't know where Merle is. If he does have the van, he did not go back to camp. Because the whole time that's what we expected that's what i was expecting him to go back to camp and there was going to be some sort of showdown between them getting there too late <laughs> i guess but it ended up if walkers came to the damn camp how they got there 
I don't know what attracted them there because they they're super careful about what happens at that camp. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the fish fry that attracted them. I, I don't know. I'm guessing they're going to explain that in the next episode. So as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you have not checked out the episode yet, but you're just watching the review, go back. The link is in the description to the Google Drive. Go watch the full reaction of this episode and then come back. And watch through uh, this is kind of stupid because I'm doing it at the end of the review which I should have done this at the start of the review whatever I'm not doing this over so too bad if you watch a review already you just seeing this you have and you want to see the reaction go check it out the link is in the description okay sooner or later I'm gonna get all this stuff down pat and my style okay so Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a like, leave a comment. Remember what I told you guys about interaction on these specific videos um, that I need to see it go up so that I have I have more incentive to do it and ought to, to do it and do it more often because um, if I don't see the react the, the, um, the interaction on these videos, then I kind of put it at the bottom of the list if you understand what I'm saying. I'm still going to do them, but they're not going to be like priority. So if you guys are watching it, how many amount of y'all, as I've said, I'm not going to stop watching it and uploading. It's just not going to be priority for me. I'm not going to have it on the list. And I know everybody wants to be priority. So if you want to see, um, if you want Walking Dead reactions to be priority on this channel, along with Ippo and Game of Thrones, Hit that like button on these videos, the intro and the review. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the episode so far into the series season one. So thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts and peace.